Thank you for listening. I am Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Taj Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts Podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome, for the very first time, Lance Palmer to the show. Very pleased to have him on Last Minute. I appreciate you doing this, man. No problem, man. I appreciate being on. Anytime, Lance. Uh, you know, for for people who don't know you, I don't know why they wouldn't. I think that you have long been one of the best guys in the world that isn't in the UFC. 12-3, and three, alpha male fighter. You have long been the face of what was the World Series of Fighting. You were like the face of, of that promotion, man. Yeah, I feel like I was, and I feel like I've done a great job of uh, being an advocate for the promotion uh, for a long time, and even... I've been in World Series since my eighth pro fight in 2013. So it's been a long time with them, and uh, we've kind of grown together. I've grown as an athlete, and I've grown in my in my career of MMA, and World Series has grown into an organization that has turned into PFL. So I feel like we've both kind of evolved in different ways, and now we're here together, which is pretty cool. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm super excited about PFL. You, Andre Harrison, fighting on this first card. How has it been a little bit different, PFL and World Series? Uh, the biggest difference is it's a, it's a season. So instead of it being just a promotion where you fight and try and be a number one contender and then fight for the title and things like that, it's it turned into a regular season where you have a couple fights in the regular season, which qualifies you for the postseason where you have a – potential to fight in the quarterfinal semifinal and then the championship which is the million dollar prize so it's just a it's a different format and all the big four sports in the united states use that format with regular season and postseason and championship series so um i think it's great for our sport of mma and i think it's going to change the way things are done in mma and um so it's good to be a part of that very first the very first time and it's not a tournament. It's it's a it's a it goes by season. So that's where it's a little different from other organizations. Yeah, you guys actually are scored. You guys are given points based on your performances, and and yeah, I'm really excited, man. I think that there's room for for an organization like yours, and uh, you know, with guys like you and Andre and uh, Rick. St- I mean, just so many guys that race Cephal and Company went out and signed 72 quality guys. One of those guys is stepping across from you on Thursday night. Uh, that's Bekulat Magomedov. He's 19 and two. I don't know if the casual fan knows who he is, but he is a tough dude. Yeah, definitely. And he was, uh, you know, he's a 135er. There's no 135-pound season this year for PFL. So uh, he and Timur Valiev, who's another tough 135-pound opponent, uh, both of those guys are coming up to the featherweight division and, uh, you know, trying to get into this, trying to get into this postseason. So um, Beck Bilal's definitely a tough guy. He's, he's fought a lot of He's had a lot of fights, but I don't think he's fought anybody of my caliber yet. So I'm excited to go out there and uh, invite him into this 145-pound weight class. Speaking of uh, guys at your caliber, uh, as I mentioned, you train at Alpha Male. You're just one of the most hard-nosed, well-respected guys in the entire sport. You obviously don't get to your level by looking past people, but has your mind wandered to that million-dollar prize a little bit? Well, definitely. I mean, when it comes down to, to signing the contract to be in this season of PFL and and kind of weighing my options after my last fight in November of whether I wanted to stay and wait it out or if I wanted to move on, it definitely crossed my mind of, you know, whether I wanted to take take a different route or if I wanted to stay with PFL and, and do this season and, and see how it plays out. So I'm definitely excited about it. And obviously, I don't think anybody in this um, – in this season of PFL has looked past that. I think everybody has thought about that at least once. And it's, I mean, a million dollars plus all your fight purses leading up to that million dollar prize. So it's not just a million dollars at the end of the year. I'm getting paid every single fight leading up to that. So it's, it's a lot more than a million dollars for me. So that's, it's life changing at the end of the day. 
Yeah, as I said, man, I'm super excited. Uh, I listened to the Ray Sefo interview uh, from Monday with Ariel Hawani on the MMA Hour. I really think that uh, the PFL is poised to do big things this year, man. I'm super excited. I mentioned uh, Andre Harrison a couple times in this. I'd be hard-pressed if I didn't mention your last loss was against him. A lot of people think, man, you and him are definitely the top two guys in the featherweight bracket. Do you foresee you and him showing down for that million-dollar prize at the end of the season? I think it would be great. I think it'd be great for the for the season. I think it'd be great for PFL, and I think obviously it'd be great for both of us. But um, you can't get to the finals of that without winning each fight leading up to that. So right now, I'm just focused on Bezalot Magomedov right now. And um, when the time comes, you know, I'm definitely excited to try and get that fight back. Um, I don't make excuses when it comes to fights, but I don't think. You know, breaking my hand in the first two minutes of the fight wasn't necessarily an excuse. It was just something that happened that kind of prevented me from putting my my best performance out there when we fought. So I'm excited to go out there and uh, hopefully get that one back and be able to get another opportunity to to fight him. Yeah, and and you could tell that early on in that fight, you just weren't the same. So, I mean, not making excuses for you. You don't need excuses, but uh, something, you weren't definitely yourself in that fight. So hopefully we do get, uh, you know, hopefully we do get to see that again as fans. Before I let you go, man, you posted a very cool pic on Twitter yesterday, and uh, you can be found at Twitter at Lance Palmer. It was just a a view in front of uh, Renzo Gracie's gym, or in in his gym, rather, and, and with the quote, all I've ever known is hard work. And I just thought that was a very, very cool picture that really embodies what you're about. Yeah, definitely. And I think, uh, you know, Henzo, who's he's a great person, and I've known Henzo for a few years now, and my manager, Ali, uh, has kind of brought us a little closer together because he and Ali are really close. So I think um, Henzo's mindset and the way Henzo fought and the way Henzo teaches – is the same mentality that I've always had growing up that my dad instilled in me. It was just, you know, hard work and discipline and that none of that stuff can be taken from you when it comes down to it. So hard work is something that's gotten me to this level and it's something that I'll never waver from. And a lot of people try and take the easy road out or take the easiest way there. And that's not that's not always been the case for me. I've I've had to take the hard road sometimes and the road less traveled and the road that I don't even want to take sometimes, but definitely the hard work is what pays off in the end. And that's what, that's what I've always embodied. Well, I can't wait, man. I, I truly think the PFL is going to be something special. And I really think that it, uh, it's going to come down to you and Andre and uh, I'm super stoked, man. Any final words? Uh, of course, as I said, you could be found on uh, Twitter at Lance Palmer. The floor is yours, man. You'd like to shout your sponsors, anything you'd like? Yeah, definitely. My two sponsors for this fight are New View Roofing out of Dallas, Texas, and uh, Beat Kicks Headphones Covers out of Los Angeles. And they're both great companies, uh, great people. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to representing them well as, as well as my team and my coaches and my family and my friends. And everybody who supports me, I, I represent all of those people when I step in the cage. And uh, so, you know, that's that's all I really have, except for make sure you tune in Thursday night. The live TV card on NBC Sports starts at 9 p.m. Eastern time, and I'll probably be fighting around 10, 10 15. So I'm excited for this fight and to kick off this PFL season. Well, I can't wait, man. That's this Thursday on MSNBC Sportsnet. And as uh, as Lance said, you're not going to want to miss his fight. It's going to be one of the highlights of the show. I appreciate your time, brother. Awesome. Thank you very much. Take care, man.